The following is a paid political announcement. Tell me, are you ready? Don't to build back a country. We forward it with King Rowley. When are you ready? Let's do this. Drink me, go by your ready. Rolling with the red army. For the love of your country, place your foot with the piano.
Councillor for the UNC, Les Fort West, La Romaine. Yeah, okay. So, um, so sure. So, you're the sitting councillor, right? And let's go ahead and go knock up. What's the plan to do? What, the, what was your goal last? What you achieved and what's your plan to, to do to be back? So much, much have been achieved, and even though much have been achieved, um, there's much more to be done. And my plan, once I'm successful, once I'm victorious, is to continue where I left off uh, to get the infrastructural work done. Um, you will understand in that area, which covers also Gulfview and Bele, people have con complained about mosquitoes and all the Zika and so on. And um, we want to see, with international help, how we can solve that problem once and for all. I'm aware that we have economical problems in terms of limitation of funds. Various corporations were cut in terms of the funding. It takes money to get things done. But we have to look at all the other channels. There are two channels that I am allowed to use. I do hold some international position. One of my international position is that I'm the president for the Caribbean for the world largest social outreach, and I depend to request from that organization help for my electoral district. Secondly, I think the time has now come for people to become a part of helping themselves. And therefore, my intention is to create an atmosphere where people can come out and we can work together for a better and lesser Fort West Laramie, and by extension, Trinidad and Tobago. You're a new I'm a newcomer, which is why. <laughs> this is uh, Pastor Colin Lizama. Say your name? Colin Lizama. What area? Going up for Springville Paradise, San Fernando, yeah. So you're a newcomer, and what do you plan to offer your, your, your constituency? Well, as someone who works faithfully in the church, I've, I've had a great commitment. I've worked with young people. I've worked for areas of social justice, and uh, I know there are some difficulties in the area as regards um, the, the, the garbage, the garbage uh, collection, and um, the certain health issues as well, dealing with mosquitoes and so forth. And uh, if successful, I will do my best, so as far as my parameters allowed, to to bring some change and to bring some comfort to the people of the area of Springville Paradise, working along with the other councillors and uh, the council in general. You are opposition person. What kind of response are you getting there? What people are saying there on the ground about and uh, what you going to represent them now? What um, are they saying? What, 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 what are they calling you? All right. The president is a, is a PNM candidate. Yes. What are you and the opposition? Mm -hmm. What are people are saying outside there? Um, the fact is people are, people are disenchanted. Right. Um, they want something different, they want something fresh, and I'm hoping that I can bring a new and fresh perspective to the area. Um, because, I mean, the, we have had some issues with the, the PNM in general governance overall, and if, if we're having issues with the overall governance of the country, and uh, the people on the ground, the people who are doing the groundwork, they're the people that will need to be able to get things done, and this is where the councillors the come in, and uh, working door-to-door, -door, 
person to person, that will make a significant difference. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Wallace. Good morning. Fine, thank you, Nisa. Oh. Thanks, Trade. <laughs> process this morning. They have acquired experience in the past couple of years, past three years as, as performers, as, as members of the council. We have all of them the sister on the side here and Councillor Joseph. And they understand what we have to know. Our major task will be the transformation of the council as we look at local government reform and we have been more or less practicing what we have to do. So I think that we'll be able to do it and we'll do it competently and, and, uh, and effectively. Well, things were much better for us this time because of the experience that we have acquired over the past three years or so, and it's the work in progress. So we have to continue with this team. They know what the issues are, they know what the problems are, and they've already started. They've done considerable work in the past three years. We are able to address all the issues. So we want, we want them uh, to get a mandate from the citizens so we can continue work. I mean, you don't change, you, know, you don't stop a wheel that is turning.